You know, Sterling engines are my favorite things in the world, after lasagna. And one week ago Sterling it asked me, do you want one of our products? I said, I don't want, I need this. So they sent me one, and to describe the last week in my life, um, sleepless nights, no possible to focus anything, shaking all over my b And now finally it's here. It looks so good. All metal bars are so well made. So I wanna get this running now, but, but alcohol for this isn't included and I was not prepared for this. Actually this is pretty obvious, shipping flammable liquids are, you know, makes sense, but there is no way I'm not testing this right now. So I used my lighter, not good idea, my finger was, let's say, <laughs> a bit hot and at the same time the flame was not hot enough, but after a bit painful waiting I got this running. For the first test it was wonderful, before going to sleep I almost started using candle for this, when finally it hit my brain. I really don't have 99% isoprophic alcohol va. What, the f uh, what I'm using to wash my resin printed parts then? I was like what the fuck I'm doing right now? I filled this li little uh, alcohol lamp or however it's called with 99% uh, isoprophic alcohol and I'm doing this now right way. Now it worked really well. I'm holding this because the vibrations make this engine wanna walk away from my table. By the way, if you are interested how much this little Sterling engine costs, it's only $69 at sterlingkit.com. You find a lot of different Sterling engines at every price point. And they not only sell Sterling engines, you also find at their website those small RC car petrol engines. And a lot of different DIY models. It's absolutely perfect place to find Christmas gift for me. But now I wanna know how fast this flywheel actually turns. So I tried to measure the RPM with my cheap tachometer. Tachometer. Absolutely cannot say this word. I was struggling to read RPM for due reason. First, because this flywheel is really thin. And second, it also reflects. That's why I had to turn my recording lights off. I managed to get some unstable readings but I believe this 2200 RPMs is really close to reality. The only thing that I haven't tested yet is this small generator. From the box I got this LED light bulb. I connected the wires to the generator and we are ready to go. Now when the generator has some load I was messing way longer to get this running. This is logic you know. The engine didn't run faster than that you see right now when the light bulb was connected to the generator. Just to show you how big of a difference it makes.
I also measured the voltage. Average was uh, 9.3 volts. And to the end, I wanna light up pumpkin head with this motor. I know this is a bit early for Halloween, and sorry for my poor video quality. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys really soon. Bye.